Welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. This is Mark Costello and today we'll talk about divided airflow for slot diffusers. Titus offers linear diffusers that are available in two slots or more that can provide airflow in one or two directions. If the data shows only one-way pattern throw data, how do we determine data for two-way throw? Let's start with the Titus T slot, which is a slot diffuser with fixed deflection in multiple configurations. Some of the two-way configurations are balanced, meaning there are two or four slots at the same number of slots facing in opposite directions, but the three-slot configuration is not balanced. So how do we determine performance data for these models? The performance data for the T-slot includes two-slot models, but the data is for balanced flow only, meaning one slot in each direction. Certain conclusions regarding divided airflow can be ascertained from these data charts. Comparing the one-slot data to the two-slot data, we can observe that the pressure and NC are identical regardless of the direction of throw or the number of slots. So, this means that whether the unit is two or more slots and they blow in different direction, the pressure and noise is the same for CFM. We can also see that in a balanced two-slot with one in each direction, the throw values are about half of the single slot with the same value. The slight differences are a product of rounding to the nearest foot. But what about unbalanced two-way throw? This could apply to multi-slot units like the ML and the code 32R and 32L of the T-slot. In this case, there are two slots in one direction and one slot in the other. The answer is not complicated. Let's stick with our two-foot-long two-way unit for which we displayed data earlier and we will supply 205 CFM. The total amount of air is divided proportionally into the total number of slots. In this case, 33% of the air is apportioned to the single slot direction and the remaining 66% to the two slot direction. Multiplying the total airflow by the proportionate factors of 0.33 and 0.66, we get the total airflow for each direction. Now we simply find those air volumes on the one-way data page on an identical length and inlet unit. We compare the 133 CFM to the 125 data and the 66 CFM is between 55 and 73. These are the throw lengths in each direction. This will reveal our throw distance. Remember, pressures and sound are not affected by balance or direction of airflow. The ML throw is calculated in the same manner in the notes at the end of the performance data section or a reminder that throw is not proportional. We hope this podcast has been enlightening and just remember pressure and noise based on total airflow throw is proportional to the number of slots. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking the tightest time out with us.